You are only confined by the walls you build. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, in our Freddy Friday segment, Freddy talks with us about the importance of getting outside our comfort zone. Enjoy. So I came in the house the other day, and my wife was watching the classic movie Gladiator, which featured an Academy Award winning performance from the great actor Russell Crowe. And it just happened to be on my favorite part when he was saying, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Now, you know, I watch movies a little bit different than most people. I'm always looking for the angle of how we can learn, how we can grow in the midst of the entertainment. So I got a question for you. Are you not entertained enough? Are you not entertained enough? How many video games can you play? How many movies can you play? How much time can you waste each and every day searching on social media? You got a goal. You got a dream. And you keep complaining you're not where you want to be at in your life. So ask yourself the tough questions. Are you not entertained enough? I get it. You want to go to another level. but Whenever you sit down and start thinking about all the hard work, all the potential failures, all the potential setbacks that may come with you trying to go to another level, you fall into a state of overwhelm. And what do we do when we get overwhelmed? We want to do something to alleviate that feeling because it doesn't feel good. And so we go to our go to. And for you, it might be playing video games. For you, it might be grabbing that phone and searching social media. For you, it might be watching a movie. For you, it might be talking on the phone. But none of those things are helping you go to another level. I understand, because I was just like you. Matter of fact, I'm still just like you in so many ways. I want a six-pack. You probably want a six-pack. But I don't have a six-pack. Because of all the hard work that's required to achieve a six pack. I know I got to eat right. Hated it. Got to work out each and every day. Hated it. Well, I should say hate it. <laughs> but what I'm trying to get you to understand is I made a decision recently because I was entertained. Whenever I thought about working out, I would do something different. Sometimes I was working on something positive, but sometimes I would just sit up and turn it on Sports Center and be like, oh, I don't feel like doing this today. No different than you. So I had to ask myself the same question. Fry, are you not entertained enough? I just happened to be on social media, surfing. Came across this app called Muscle Booster. Mm, mm, mm. It's a workout app. And basically, it works as your own personal fitness trainer. So I was like, you know, I want a six pack. Let me go on and give it a shot. So I registered, got it downloaded. Next day, clicked on the app, it said morning routine. Happily, nice. You got seven minutes? I said, I got seven minutes. Clicked on the app. (sighs) Basically what it does is, it shows the person doing whatever they want you to do. It gives you three seconds, one, two, three, go. And you do it for 30 seconds. Man, I got about three, four minutes into that workout and I'm like, This is a personal fitness trainer from hell. And you go through all these different kind of exercises. They got me doing planks, plank sit-ups, plank jumps, all kind of crap I've never did in my life. And I promise you, seven, eight minutes later, I'm whoa out, drenched in sweat. I'm like, what in the world? What in the devil? That's what I said. And then the app has nerve enough to ask you a couple of questions when you finish. First one is a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Did you like it or did you hate it? And I know the real life in me wanted to hit hate it so bad. But I was like, you know what? I know it's good for me. So I hit like, I like it. Then they ask you, was it too hard? Was it perfect? Or was it too easy? 
And the problem with you is, just because you're drenched in sweat, just because you were uncomfortable, you hit too hard. And in life, when things get too hard, that's when you quit. That's when you go back to the entertainment. You go back and crawl into your comfort zone. The great Muhammad Ali said, I didn't even start counting the reps. I didn't even start counting the push-ups. I didn't even start counting the sit-ups. I didn't even start counting the miles I was running until it started hurting, until it got hard. So what I want you to understand is all of the growth happens when you get too, too hard. When you get too, too difficult. Roadblocks, setbacks, failures. Roadblocks are put in place to separate the winners from the losers. Roadblocks are put in place to separate those who have from those who have not. Roadblocks are put in place to separate those who really want it from those who really don't. So I'm going to ask you this question one more again. Are you not entertained enough? When it gets too hard, that's when the growth happens. Then and only then will you start to reap the benefits. You got to power through. You got to push through. And I continue to get up reluctantly. Not so much loving the workout, hating the workout. But I'm loving the results. And I need you to hate whatever it is that makes you uncomfortable. But understand that you're putting yourself in a position to love the results that will come. Those who go to another level, those who achieve at the highest plateau are those who can feel the pain, who can absorb the punches and keep powering through because they know on the other side of the pain is the riches, the spoils, that amazing sense of pride. So I need you to power through. And never ever again hit that too hard button because success comes to you when you power through the too hard to get to the next level of your life. This is a great day to win. Let's go. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.